Okay, here's another prime example why you cannot trust these power supply testers. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Alright, we got <laughs> obvious bag capacitor right there. Let's see if I can find something to point with. That one's actually leaking. Sorry about the focus here. That one's actually leaking. That one's popped. Uh, that one there is popped. Uh, that one's bad. That one's bad. The one behind it is bad. And even one of the little ones down here, can't really tell, but it's actually bowed out on the sides. And those are just the ones I can easily see. It even looks like that one, I believe, is also bad. It looks a little bowed on the top, can't say for sure. Um, but basically, all these big blue ones are bad, for sure. Those two there. And here's what we get when we run the tester. Sorry about that. Let's turn that again. Nice steady power. Although you can see over on the left the uh, 5 volt, it'll bounce around a little, which can sort of clue you in a little bit sometimes. But uh, yeah, without a load test, <laughs> this thing will read good. That's pretty much it. Just another example of why you can't trust these power supply testers.